Hey guys, hope you're well. In this video, I want to tell you about a market that I believe could drop and crash by about 50%. It's possible this market I'm going to tell you about could even drop by as low as 70% potentially. So let me tell you, before I tell you what this market is and why this market could drop as low as 50 to 70%, let me, let me just give you some context. In America right now, most hardworking Americans are completely fed up with the insurance companies, with uh, health care and health insurance. Um, now, let me just give you some uh, explanation about this. You see, guys, uh, in America, it doesn't actually matter whether you're on the left or on the right. This is, a, this is not a left, right, or Democrat, Republican matter. Majority of all Americans on both sides, again, the left and the right, and personally, guys, I'm not, I'm not political. I don't care about left or right politics. The bottom line is, guys, I can tell you, the majority of Americans on both sides, the left and the right, are completely fed up with corporate greed and especially the health insurance companies. Why? Let me just give you an example of why uh, most Americans are fed up with this. The reason is, in America, most people, most Americans, pay every month their health care premiums, which could cost anything from $100 to $300 a month. And then, when they actually get sick, and when they need coverage, when they actually go to see a doctor or hospital, when they need someone to pay for the treatment, the health insurance companies will do anything they can not to pay, not to cover the treatment. This is absolutely ridiculous, and rightfully, a lot of Americans are completely fed up and angry about this. Let me just give you a couple examples. Uh, what might happen is health insurance companies might say, oh, um, well, first of all, we can't cover your treatment because of pre-existing conditions, or it's experimental. Or what they might say is, you'll pay, you pay the first $4,000, the first $4,000, $5,000, what's called a copay or excess, and then we'll pay you the rest of it. All right, so what that means is, if you're cash strapped, if somebody doesn't have that $4,000 copay, that means they can't do anything. Essentially, they can't get the treatment, which is why a lot of Americans unfortunately go bankrupt because of these health insurance companies not paying for the treatment, which is absolutely ridiculous. It's a terrible situation. Hi, I'm Steve Brill. I've got the cover story this week looking at the healthcare debate from a very different perspective. Why does healthcare cost so much? I looked behind eight bills and traced the bills all the way back to who's getting what money, who's making what profits, and the results are um, uh, really surprising. One of the things I found that, uh, that everybody in the healthcare industry knows about, but that nobody else knows about, is something called the Charge Master. And the Charge Master is a, um, an internal list in each hospital of the thousands of different items that they charge for. And nobody could explain it to me. Um, and indeed, it would be hard to explain. For example, why would you charge uh, $77 for a box of gauze pads that you can buy for a dollar at the local drugstore? Uh, why would you charge you know, thousands of dollars for a CAT scan that really doesn't cost you anything? It's emblematic, if you will, of the irrationality of the entire healthcare system because uh, no one can explain the cost, no one even tries to explain the cost. By the way, one more thing I should mention is that pharmaceutical companies also are extremely, can, can be very greedy. Some, a lot of pharmaceutical companies, what they might do is, they create a drug they, which, which costs them $6, but they sell it for $300 or $200. Now you might say, well, that's a free market, it's capitalism. I don't agree. Actually, a free market implies competition, fair competition. But there is no such thing as a fair competition when it comes to drugs and medicine. If a company, if a, if a pharmaceutical company creates a brand new drug that you need, maybe it's for treatment of cancer or treatment of some major condition that you need, well, what they have is they have a patent on that drug they created. The patent lasts for 20, 30 years, for example. Other companies cannot copy that same drug because there's a patent on it. So there's no such thing as a free market because there's no competition. And essentially that company can charge whatever they want for that drug, which again can bankrupt a lot of people and insurance companies may not cover it. The real profit makers are the way hospitals mark up the very expensive drugs that you get. You know, if you have cancer, if you have pneumonia, uh, you know, they're making thousands of dollars on these drugs and the drug companies in turn are making still more thousands of dollars. This is not a free market. You don't get health care because you want it. You don't wake up in the morning and say, gee, I'd love to go down to the emergency room today. You enter that market unwillingly. You know nothing about the products that you're being asked to buy in the market. You have no choice of those products. So guys, uh, what's happening is this. Let, let's, let me show you now why I think the market, this market could drop. Because you see, there is a candidate 
uh, there's a, there is a person in America called Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders is saying he's going to scrap the medical insurance option. It'll become a uh, medical, Medicare for all or healthcare for all or a single payer system, similar to what we have in the UK, in other words. So guys, take a look at this chart, which means that if Bernie Sanders gets the nomination, now we don't know, at the moment Biden, Joe Biden is leading in the polls, but if, if Bernie gets a nomination, it's possible that this market, you see here, the iShares US Healthcare ETF, which is, gives exposure to health insurance companies, it's possible that this market could drop, as we see here. By the way, I've, I've called this the Bernie trade, as you can see here, which means, guys, um, it's possible that if, if Bernie Sanders gets the nomination, or if it becomes clear that Bernie Sanders might get the nomination, we don't know at the present moment, but if he does, it's possible this market, IHF, the ETF for health insurance, health providers, um, which is a basket of health insurance companies, it could drop, in fact, if it breaks 180, guys, keep an eye of 160, I beg your pardon, if it, if it breaks the 160 level there on that chart, breaks the trend line, if it breaks a support, it's possible that this market could drop by as low as 50% to 70%. All right, guys, so that's what I call the Bernie trade. Okay, let's let leave that chart for a moment. Bottom line is, guys, it should be quite interesting. I'm gonna keep an eye on that chart. And again, uh, I'm not expecting anything might happen unless that, that level gets broken and unless it becomes clear that Bernie might get the nomination. Thanks very much, these guys. Bye for now. So the drug companies are making more money, the hospitals are making more money, the medical device makers are making more money, and everybody's happy except the taxpayer.